I know with the last album you had to cut your cut your um, touring short a little bit because of the health stuff you had going on. Yeah. So with with this album now, is it kind of nice to be able to put that stuff in the past and you know go on the road and take this new music with people and see where it goes? Um, yeah, I mean it's it's always better to I guess be able to follow through with a tour than cancel dates. I mean I can say that mm-hmm. for any record right. or we put out uh, or just for life in general. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, I mean I I'm stoked to be able to like follow through on a tour and play all the shows and feel relatively good day to day. Um um yeah. Okay. But not being able to tour on Ugly was disappointing and really hard. So mm-hmm. um I think we're all excited to be able to uh go on a, an extensive tour to yeah, to support them. Um, well, I, I guess before, before I go on, just just so curious, are are you feeling better now? Are you doing okay these days? Yeah. Oh, good, good. For sure. Oh, good, good to hear. Was, I, I know that you, you still played through a lot of it, but was there any point where you just thought maybe going on the road was not worth it? No, I uh, I think when we had to take our really long break, all of us were like like, jumping at the bit to be able to go on tour again, play shows. Uh, I don't think any of us were ever, like, it's not it's not worth it because of, like, physical pain or mm-hmm. a lot of strife or whatever. I mean, yeah. I we all missed it a lot, and we were really bummed out when we couldn't do it. For sure. Now, I, I know just listening to the album and reading off about the album, a lot of it is, from what I've under being able to understand is about that situation that you went through and trying to figure out how your body was working and almost breaking up with your body is um, is that generally what you're what you're targeting with this album was looking back at that era and trying to make some sense out of it I don't, know. <clears throat> I don't think any one album or even 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 one song is about a particular situation a lot of things are like that amalgamation of experiences and thoughts and feelings and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, when people ask very often what songs are about, what albums are about, mm-hmm. uh, kind of, you kind know, of feel compelled to give them some kind of answer besides, I don't know, it's whatever you want it to be. Mm-hmm. So it's like, <laughs> uh, there are some songs that are very much explicitly about being sick, but then there are some songs on Rose Mountain that aren't about that at all. Mm-hmm. Um, and some that have like, you know, where there are like lyrical sections that are about it, and there are other sections of the song that aren't about it at all. So it's like much akin to one's life. It's, there's no one song that's about right, right. Just one life experience. I mean, every day we all will go through like a myriad of emotions and thoughts and feelings and stuff. So. It's hard to answer that question, no, that's fair. honestly, <laughs> without, like, sounding like a dumb skull. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's fair. Uh, did did what you went through, did what you go through on the road all those years ago teach you something about yourself in terms of maybe your, your resolve or your dedication to your band or, or, or anything along those lines? Um, I don't... I don't think I ever had to, dedic- to, to like, question my dedication to playing in our band. I always want to be playing in our band, but um, uh, it definitely granted me with, like, a, uh, I think, a healthier perspective on how cool it is that I get to do um, the music pretty much for a living. Mm-hmm. Um, and that I'm very lucky, and not a lot of people get to do that. Um and not being able to do it is what really made me realize that it's the thing that I would that I want want very much to do for as long as possible. So in that way, yeah, I mean it did kind of um yeah, it did, it did give me a new perspective on 
how um, how important playing music is. Mm-hmm. Did you when when you were on stage those nights was was the power and the emotion that go into a performance able to kind of take that discomfort you had away from you for a, for a bit of time? Uh, I think it's hard to remember. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. I I mean I I think I would just kind of take it a day at a time, but it was. Um, yeah, I think being able to, I mean, we were playing really big shows, some of the biggest shows we ever played. We were opening for garbage, so mm-hmm. um, there was a lot of adrenaline involved, I guess, and there are that many people watching you play, mm-hmm. even if you feel <clears throat> really weak and lousy. Um, it kind of kicks in, so. Right, right. But yeah, it's, it's hard to remember, but um, I remember feeling good about a lot of those stuff. Yeah, well, that's like, good. From a musician standpoint, I think. Cool. Did, did, in the in the weirdest times, did you ever feel like it was you know the, the health stuff would maybe threaten the existence of the band? Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, when we canceled when we canceled the last like leg of the garbage show, we had to come home. Um, we weren't really sure what was going on with me, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, I wasn't really sure like when I would get better. So it's just kind of like. I don't think we ever gave it a name or anything. It was like taking a hiatus or taking a break or something until it felt well enough that we could go on tour. (laughs) (laughs) And, um, sorry, Jared almost ran over something because my fat head was in the way of the (laughs) rearview mirror. Uh, And, um, I don't know what I was saying. (laughs) That's okay. Uh, no, you're you're just kind of talking about how kind of unfortunate it was to have to end those shows, and then thinking about whether the band oh. would continue beyond that. Yeah. So we had to take a long break. We weren't sure if we were going to be able to go on tour again. Mm-hmm. It's a long time for us to kind of, or for me to get my act back together, rather. Mm-hmm. And um, and then we went on like a we went on a trip with Rock Hachi and Ted for like two weeks. Mm-hmm. We did a tour with them. It was awesome. And on the way home, they're like, well, how do you feel? And I was like, feel great. Awesome. <laughs> and so from then on, we just, like, it kept feeling great and better towards mm-hmm. I, I I know I know you and you Jared and Mike have known each other for a long time now. Based on all that, based on all that, what happened and and all that, could could this have could this have killed a weaker band of people who weren't necessarily friends and had a greater understanding of each other? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's no doubt in my mind this would have been like a a death sentence for a band that maybe had a different dynamic. Yeah. Um. I don't, I wouldn't be able to like even provide you with a case scenario, but um, <laughs> you know, we still practice every week and saw each other every week, and we're making music and stuff despite the fact. And I think we all kind of like knew in the back of our minds that like it would resolve itself in some way, shape, or form. Mm-hmm. But I know there was that kind of like shadow of doubt hanging over the whole thing. Yeah. Um. But. But yeah, I mean, if there were any other band, I think it probably, probably would have been kaput. 